So here we have a miniature DVM module. Uh, it's just uh, 0.28 of, a, of an inch high. That's a tad over seven millimeters and uh, has a, a variety of applications um, in places where you don't want to necessarily use your, you know, your big multimeter, perhaps in a development project or uh, measuring battery voltage, something like that. So as you can see, compared to my Fluke multimeter, it seems to be uh, pretty accurate, uh, certainly accurate enough for what uh, I need to do. And this will range from uh, 2.5 volts up to 30 volts. So if I turn the supply down, drop in RF now, 2.5. And there it goes. So I we'll have to bring the voltage up a little bit more, but you can see that that uh, is, the, is the lower end. And uh, it seems to be tracking the voltage uh, pretty well. We go to the higher end, we get towards the 30 volts. And there it is uh, overranged. It seemed to protect itself, which is uh, is good news. So that's a very useful little chip. If you do feel the need to to calibrate it, uh, there is actually a very very small uh, potentiometer on the on the back. I'll uh, put another better picture up to that on the on the description. And you can uh, tweak that um, if you find a screwdriver small enough. Let's take a look at a couple of applications for this. So in this particular instance, as you can see, I've got it hooked up to a, to a breadboard project. Just used a couple of little um, wire hook clips to, uh, to probe on the circuit. And this is being powered by 12 volts and the output to the other uh, micro circuit needs to be 3.3 volts. So I'm just monitoring that using the, the little DVM meter. So that works well as as well and obviously you could use these little clips you could use multiple of these uh, if you needed to to measure different places in the circuit so here's another potential use for it ah, potential um, what i have here is a little box with a, a lithium ion battery which is uh, nominally 11.1 .1 volts and that's going into a buck converter to provide 24 volts so that I can use this to power over Ethernet um, antennas that I might be configuring or, or access points. So uh, what I've found is that uh, sometimes accidentally I forget to um, unplug it. There's no, no switch on there and obviously the, the battery will run flat so I have an indication of, of what the battery voltage is and also whether the device is switched on or not. So that's uh, going to be very useful too. Finally, as you can see, they are available in a in a range of of colours. Now, this could be especially useful in the uh, in the breadboard example, where you could assign a different colour to the input voltage or the output voltage or or whatever. So that would be useful. So you've got the almost the entire spectrum there. As I remember from school, Richard of York gave battle in vain. It's the order of the colours: red, orange, yellow green, blue, indigo and violet. So not quite to violet, but we've got a white, whitish one at the end there. So I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll try and do more soon.